John. So we are here in our small farm for Maklobati. And what we are doing here is making ridges for our orchard that we are going to establish here. So we are laying out the orchard on a north-south row line. And with the tractor and plow, we are going to make ridges on top of which we will plant the orchards. The spacing between the ridges will be about 8 meters and the in-row spacing of the trees will depend on the kind of tree that we are planting. So you can see it's a very nice grass sward here on sandy soils. Outcrop here, if you have to go over, and then back into the soil. I don't think the soil has ever been tilled, so it's got a very nice organic matter content. Lots of grass there, which will make a lovely compost underneath the row of trees. You'll turn around and come back and throw the soil up on top of the ridge. So here you'll come back, throwing up the soil onto the ridge. Yeah, we have the ridge almost complete. We've done up and down, and we'll come in again just to throw up a bit more soil. Let's look at the soil. Here, yeah, how lovely, full of organic matter the soil is, even though it's a sandy soil. It's had grassland for millennia, I guess. Uh, the soil is rich in organic matter. Of course this ploughing is going to start the oxidization of this organic matter but we're not going to plough here again. We will by hand with budzes, hose, just shape this a little bit better and then plant our trees on top and we'll plant grass and other things on top of this as well just to maintain the soil cover but this was just to create a bit of a elevated portion so that there's better drainage for the trees this ridge is in a north-south orientation that'll be optimum for capturing sunlight and we've made the ridges quite far apart they are about eight meters apart so that will allow this, us to have this grassy patch in between which we will convert into a pasture 
uh, probably next season. I don't know if we'll have time to do it this season. And so that we can raise animals in between the trees. Here we are laying out the pegs for where the trees will be. So these are at a six meter spacing down the top of the ridge. So we have completed putting all the pegs out. You can see them lined up down the rows here. So the next thing will be to lay out the trees and get planted. We have finished making the ridges and laying out where the trees are going to be planted. And this is the, well, these are the trees that we're going to plant. So on the left there is avocados. We've got 16 of those to plant. Then we've got mangoes, three varieties of mangoes, six of each. Some Valencia oranges, some mulberries at the back there, nachis and lemon. And then the big trees there are guavas and next to them are some indigenous fruits which we're going to try. There's five each of those indigenous fruits and then we have 19 pawpaws. These are dwarf pawpaws. And so these are going to be planted out along these ridges. We're using a six meter spacing for most of the trees but the pawpaws we will bring that down to two and a half meters. In each planting station where we're going to put the trees we are applying a mixture of half a liter of compound D, half a liter of gypsum and one and a half liters of vermicompost. We dig a hole about 60 centimeters deep and 60 centimeters wide and then we mix that fertilizer in there and then once we've done a good mixing we plant the tree at the in a slightly raised um, position because the soil will, will settle down a bit and we want the trees to be elevated up so here we planted one just to try it out because it's near the end of the day we'll carry on tomorrow So by the end of the week, I hope all of this will be planted out and I hope the rain will do us well so that we can get this established. Of course, we'll have a lot of work to do still on these ridges. They're still very rough, but we'll get them smoothed out and shaped nicely once we've got the trees planted. So the objective really is to get the trees planted as soon as possible. The soils are so wet. It's uh, the end of January, the last day of January, so the season will start running out, so we really need to get this planted so that by end of February and March the trees are established and have their roots down. <laughs>